Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a user experience map, UX. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a tool of experience. It got the following characteristics. It is used in the stage of prototype in a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology. The purpose of this tool is to understand all the components in a project. This could be a product, a service, or a model business. And their interaction with the user and the experience that this develop in the process. In order to create an attachment or fidelization loyalty to the development. It is focused on the principle of user-centered design. It means that the creation wants to generate an experience that the user remembers. The tool allows to modify, fix, or improve a creation before go to the market or got implemented. The components of the user experience map are user, scenario, activity, and experience. Okay, so when we are going to develop a user experience map, it's really important that we already have all the components. That is why this tool is being used when you are prototyping. So the experience map could be focused on the product, service, or business model. What are we looking for? We are looking the interaction between the user and the product, service, or business model. So when we already got that, we start developing the activity. It's really important to see all the different interactions that the user start develop when he is looking different components because we never know what could change or what could happen. So it's very important to analyze. Analyze all those components, all these interactions you could draw all of these and maybe later use vector uh, tools. It's really important to always use graphic line. If you don't know what a graphic line is, please check the tutorial because the graphic line is really important to see all the different components and show it in a proper way. So after we analyze this first stage, we go to the scenario. The scenario is really important because those activities got placed in a scenario and the scenario could have many different characteristics. So it's always a place, but it also got a context. This means that besides the place, there are different things because usually the user is not by himself. He's interacting with some other things. So that's really important also to analyze the cultural background that it got. This could be many different components. So as you can see, we start in something very specific and after we start growing and analyzing all the different kinds of interaction, we realize how many components it got. After that, we could analyze all the experience that the user developed in the activities and in the scenarios. So it's really important to see the reaction that it got to interact because here we can see if our proposal is working or is not working. If it's not working, we can change it. If it's all right, we validate it and we go to the next stage. But we could never be a hundred percent sure that they are appropriating and they are developing an attachment to the product service or model business that is why here we have to take our time and we can see that maybe he could be worried maybe he could be crying or maybe he's really happy and he start to developing feelings to the different kind of product or service that we are developing. As a result of the user experience map, we could say that when we finish the user experience, uh, we will understand the interaction between the user and the development. It will allow to take decisions about the project, focus on fixing, improving, or changing the development. 
If the tool is well used, it will create an attachment between the user and the result of the project, generating appropriation and customer loyalty on the user side. That is really important because that's what we want when we are using this tool. We want to develop an attachment. If we realize and we could say that that is not happening, okay, so we have to get back and we have to try it again until we develop that feeling on the side of the user. Thank you so much. I hope this video will be a big help in the development of your product or your project. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Every day in our social network, we got new developments. So please check it out. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one channel in design thinking and agile methodologies on the whole YouTube universe. So thank you so much. And remember, on Monday, we always have a new video in Spanish. On Thursday, we always have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.